A quick show of hands, please. Who here tonight has, in fact, seen us before? Oh, bloody oh. hell. You know, when we, when we said 15 years ago we were going to do stand-up comedy, people laughed at us. They did? They did? They're not laughing now. Good evening. My name's Martin Jones, and I have a small holding. <laughs> Particularly after a frosty night. The dress. <laughs> Three quid. Thank you. Oxfam. Like my earrings. Yeah. Thank you. You can see them. Yeah. 50p. <laughs> like my sunglasses. Yeah. See the little diamond bits. Yeah. Quid. <laughs> Bra. 30 quid, but you're not seeing that. Here in the bow ties, we, uh, we sing songs uh, about anything, really. Uh, love, despair, travel, holidays, you name it. We sing songs about it. Tonight, I'm not going to sing a song about any of those. I'm going to sing you a song about gardening. And now the time has come for me to go and dig the garden. It's all right for you, your mamby pamby gardener's round with it. Your soil is soft. Well, mine's a hardened. I've dug and hoed and hacked and flayed and forked until the times splay. Oh, yes, you got it easy. You want to try? My clay. I once was well acquainted with a man named Joseph Dunn, a very respectable sort of man and fond of harmless fun. He courted young and married was at the age of 21, and a very respectable family had Mr. and Mrs. Dunn. For there was high. Down. And low, Down. and over, Down. and under, Down. all the other younger. Down. In a night they'd run, there was young, Down. and old, Down. and young. Down. Youngest son, young, Down. will be a, Down. when old. Down. I live in a little village in Shropshire called Betton Strange, which is a little hamlet just outside Shrewsbury, strange by name, and strange by nature. Little group of houses down a cul-de-sac, uh, quite a long way from anywhere. And it's, uh, we're deprived in Betton Strange. It's the only place in Shropshire that doesn't have a name board saying where you are when you get there. You know, if you drive towards Wortham, there's one, isn't there? Wortham, turn back now. But we don't have that in Betton Strange. Um, but uh, we have a farm down by the junction with the main road, and the farmer the other day, uh, he likes to sell his produce to local people, and he put up a sign on the main road, it was a white board with black letters, and he wrote the word potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. And he'd been to Shrewsbury School, so he spelt it correctly, P-O-T-O-T-A-O apostrophe S. And, um, <laughs> and we all knew what it meant, it meant you can go to Joe's farm, uh, to Joe's farm and buy some fresh dog potatoes. Then that night, the local lads coming back from the pub, had a felt-tip pen with them. And next morning, underneath was written, twinned with pomme de terre. <laughs> well, where are you now, John? You what? You, 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 you're going to scrape the, scrape the yards on the old scraper tractor? And you want to know how to start it? OK, uh, it, it could be difficult. I'll, I'll have to talk you through it. 
Okay, it's, 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 it's an old tractor. All right, are you ready? Right, look, look down at the control panel. It hasn't got one. <laughs> no, John, John, it has, it has. It's underneath the steering wheel. It hasn't got one of those either. <laughs> no. Oh, John, just a minute. This tractor you're sitting on, does it by any chance have very, very big wheels on the front? <laughs> and small wheels on the back? <laughs> yeah, try turning to face the other way around. <laughs> You've found the steering wheel now, good, okay. Verse and chorus, ready? Here's to the youngest son of, likewise to the eldest, and here's to the youngest son of, when the eldest is, and if any man can do all this in this big wicked world, what's by, must be well, so well, good old, for there was high and low, and over and under, all the other younger, in a night that run, there was young and old, and young, youngest son, young, will be a, when old, yeah! Are you ready? Put the nail in the, in the right hand hole this time. Jiggle it about. Nothing? A bit, bit harder. Nothing? Oh, okay. No, try, try a few squirts of easy start. You feel better. <laughs> For the bloody tractor, John, not you. Put the can down, I've told you. I know you love me, put the can down. <laughs> You might want to sing along with this. Stars shining bright above you. Night breezes seem to more tree dream a little dream of me boy started yeah oh just a minute john can you hear a high pitched whining noise lift the bonnet up a bit yeah i know the cat often sleeps in there no. <laughs> you may like to join in with this Had a boy on a work experience scheme He was fresh out of school and he looked pretty green His name was Lovell De De Eric Lovell I thought to train him well like I was supposed to do So I took him in the cow shed and said Derek, this is a shovel sh 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 shovel sh 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 shovel We, as I mentioned before, we've been on the road for 15 years now, and in all that time, political correctness and sexual equality has rather caught up with us. And even in the last century, people were saying to us, you, you can't really be three men in a bow tie. You ought to include some female talent in the show. Of course, that's why we're so thrilled these days to, be have, uh, to have Sally here uh, working and playing with us. But we do actually have another female artist waiting to come out on stage now to entertain you for the next few minutes, yes. Um, she, uh, she is a farmer. Um, <laughs> she does work quite close to Martin's farm and there are some people who say she looks quite like Martin, really. <laughs> but then most people in Ponsbury do. Um, <laughs> not so much a family tree as a family twig. <laughs> She's a bit, uh, bit nervous about coming over to this lovely village of Worthen. Uh, and all these very important and posh people, friendly people, cheap beer. <laughs> or is it the other way around? No, that's right. And um, so we'll please give a very, very warm word and welcome to Shropshire's agricultural starlet, the one and only Frida, the female farmer. Frida, Frida, Frida. Hi, everybody. My name's Frida. Underneath, as some of you know, 
I'm not going to show you. No, I'm not. Because modesty forbids. And there might be a smoke alarm in here. <laughs> but underneath, I am, in fact, wearing a thong. It's either a thong or a bloody big tapeworm, one or another. <laughs> no, it's a thong. In Hessian. <laughs> By Armani. And it just about covers me aquascutum. Now... <laughs> now, um, you know, times are hard on the farm. And in order to make ends meet, and I can assure you, my end, my end doesn't meet with anything nowadays. <laughs> but as a bit of diversification, I do knit, so weave, knot, and construct thongs out of farmyard bits and bobs. Most of the bits, the bobs are difficult to work with. And I sell them on farmers' markets and enter them in WI competitions. <laughs> now, you may be excited to know, I do have an example of my handiwork with me tonight. I do have one of my thongs, ready for Christmas. And here it is. And... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's inside out. I can... <laughs> Short and fat and plump and lumpy The girl from Craven Arms is frumpy She's so demure I look at her and say Ugh. She's got spots and warts and bunions And when she laughs there's a smell of onions And when I sniff I get a whiff and say I was milking in the cow shed just the other day when an eager salesman strode in and this he had to say throw away your bucket and your little milking stool come on and join the real world now don't you be a fool robot milker well i watched the cat go round the pipes looking pretty adults then sterilized and filtered trying to do a doggy paddle I finally fished the cat out and realised my folly. I couldn't switch the thing off. Oh shit, there goes the collie, robot milker! Bring <laughs> it here, bring it there. If you're standing by, then you'll all get your share.